Hi guys, Mike and I just wanted to check in. We are heading to the airport. We're going to Tuscany. We're going to Florence. Yeah, and we're trying to pack up. And I always try to keep it light, but it's not easy uh, keeping it light when you're traveling with a baby. So we're trying to keep it to one suitcase and fit everything for all three of us. And thankfully, this little dude has decided that he does not want a bottle anymore. So we don't have to bring all of that stuff, right? You're a big boy. Okay, so we're trying to fit everything into this one suitcase. And then we have this bag, that's a diaper bag. It's now a carry-on. So we'll see you in the airport. Can you wave? Can you wink? Can you wink? See you in the airport. Ready to fly to Frankfurt and then to Florence. Yep. Max is a trooper. He's hooked up with his cartoons and then he's good to go. He hasn't slept all day, but he's keeping up. Hi guys, we arrived in Tuscany. Sunday and today is a Wednesday. Monday we were out filming a beautiful townhouse with some people here in Florence. Yesterday we just took it easy. We've been having some problems with the heat at the house where we're staying. It's up in the mountains and there's no heat so there's no hot water either so sorry for the looks but um, yeah but today we're out exploring and we are in a small uh, town called Fisole or something like that. It's um, if you go to Florence, then it's up north and it's in the mountains. So supposedly there are great views overlooking Florence and the Duomo, and they have an amphitheater up here and some good restaurants. So we'll just see what we get to check out today. When traveling, always remember to start the day off with pastries. Mm. We found the amphitheater. It's beautiful. I'll show you around in just a second. I love places like this. You can just kind of imagine like over here is the gate and the horses, they ride in and they have a big show and all these people up here cheering and having fun and some people up here maybe dancing, putting on a show. It might ha not have been that elaborate, but you never know, they had like lions and whole ships and stuff in the Colosseum, so you never know. area right here we actually read that, that this section over here is part of the old Etruscan temple and an altar and then the new like the Roman temple is this big part over there so they did as they do so many times they built on top of what was previously a holy building and they just kind of adapted to the new religion we're standing on Etruscan ruins that's pretty cool And this was apparently a swimming pool. <laughs> I hope In... they heated the water. <laughs> Don't you think they heated the water? They had like 
running water in the toilets and everything back then. They were pretty sophisticated, so they would probably have found a way to heat this water. Want to go swimming next? <laughs> It's been a lot of fun to explore this little gym up on the hill and now we are ready to find some lunch. This is very steep. We had some delicious lunch and some very uh, like basic pasta, uh, no spaghetti, like they like in Italy. They like everything separate. So we had some spaghetti with truffle oil and then we had some meatballs after as like the second course. And then we were gonna get some dessert, but Max woke up. So now we're heading up to close to where there's a monastery up on this top up on this hilltop and it's supposed to have a great view so it's very steep <laughs> Okay, I am really out of shape, I'll give you that, but look at those steps. That is very visual of how steep this actually is, it's very steep. Whew. This view is amazing. It was really worth the steep walk up here. And over there, you can see the Duomo and all downtown Florence and all the hills of Tuscany. It's really beautiful. If it hadn't been hazy today, it would have been totally like picture perfect clear. But this is really beautiful as well. You can see the fog kind of go like in between all the rolling hills. It's really beautiful. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Did you find something? Thank you! Good job! Acorns! Let's find that monastery. This monastery, Max. You like it? <laughs> you don't like it. <laughs> he just wants to get down. I really like the view up here, and it's so quiet and just serene. This is a place where I could actually just sit for a few hours and just enjoy the quiet and the view. Now let's head back down. Maybe we'll find some dessert. Maybe we'll head back home. Not completely sure, but. It's been kind of fun to explore Tuscany again because we were just fairly recently here six months ago in April. We spent a whole month here. So we didn't really want to just go back to the same places again. So we tried to do a few of the places that we didn't get to explore last time. And it's been fun and Fisole is definitely one of those places that we didn't, we just didn't make it here the last time and I'm really glad that we did this time. So if you're here for a longer period of time, more than just a few days and definitely try and get up here and check out the views are amazing. Mm -hmm. 